have there. In this video, we are going to talk about equilibrium of particles. So let's begin. A particle is said to be in equilibrium if the resultant of all the forces acting on the particle is equal to zero. In other words, we can say that if we have a particle and the sum of all the forces acting on that particle is zero, then that particle is in equilibrium because there is no resultant force and the particle is not moving. Let us consider forces F1, F2, F3 and F4 are acting on the particles of mass m. So let's consider a particle. So this is the particle where you can see we have forces F1, F2, F3 and F4. These four forces are acting on that particle. So basically if we want to prove that this particle is in equilibrium, we need to prove that the sum of all the forces are equal to zero. So we can say then the particle will be in equilibrium if F1 plus F2 plus F3 plus F4 is equal to zero, which simply means that sigma of F is equal to zero. In other words, we can say that sum of all the forces are equal to zero. Equilibrium equation in component form. So basically what we are doing, we are trying to find all the three components X, Y and Z for the equilibrium of particle. So let's consider a coordinate system. The equilibrium equation can be written as sigma of Fx is equal to zero, which simply means that F1x plus F2x plus F3x plus F4x is equal to zero. Sigma of Fy is equal to zero, which simply means that F1y plus F2y plus F3y plus F4y is equal to zero. And the last one is sigma of Fz is equal to zero implies that F1z plus F2z plus F3z plus F4z is equal to zero. In other words, we can say that if a particle is in equilibrium, then the sum of the forces along the x, y and z axis will also be equal to zero because the particle is in equilibrium. And this is how we will define equilibrium of particles.